We are at Fuse 2025 in Dublin. I'm here with Dimitra Simeonidou, who is director of the Smart Internet Lab at the University of Bristol, founding director of the Bristol Digital Futures Institute, and also a director, amongst many other things, of the Joint Open Infrastructure for Networks Research, uh, also known as JOINER. Um, and we're in Dublin, Dimitra, and Trinity College Dublin has just become, has just hooked up to the JOINER network and become the first international connection to that network. So to start, can you just tell us about what JOINER is and then we'll talk about what uh, Trinity College joining yes. means. So JOINER is what the name says, is a national scale and now international scale, uh, open network infrastructure, uh, which has put together to support network R&D, but also to drive innovation and commercialization of academic research in networks into, into the commercial space. So what it is, it really resembles a real network. So we are actually connecting 14 places at the moment, and this is across the UK footprint. So we go from Bristol and Southampton to London to Oxford to Cambridge, and then Leeds, and then up to Glasgow, Belfast, Edinburgh, and now in Dublin. Okay. And what we are providing, we are providing connectivity in different forms. So we are having mostly high speed connectivity provided by DISC, and that can go up to 100 gigabit per second. Okay. We have a domain which is dark fiber. We also have six uh, satellite connections. Oh, wow. but, but networks is not about connectivity, as you know, anymore. And uh, we are having a very rich public cloud and on-premise cloud environment. And we are providing orchestration, management, platforms, authentication, user authentication platforms. So in each place that we are actually landing, we are delivering what we call a joiner terminal. It's a very advanced wrap of equipment okay. that gives multi-layer switching. It gives access to GPUs, to FPGAs and other programmable platforms. It also gives access to on-premise cloud and controllers. Okay. And then each place, each lab, each location, they can connect their own uh, experimental environment or innovation environment into Joiner and become part of that much bigger infrastructure. Um, so what the purpose is? The purpose is, first of all, to, ho to host uh, early TRL prototypes coming either from academia or industry, give them an environment where they can test and harden their prototype, advance their TRLs. And uh, we are doing quite a lot of this already, but the real purpose of Joiner is actually to start addressing system level questions about networks. So end-to-end -end connections, uh, questions, things that they have to, they're challenged by the complexity and heterogeneity of networks. And that's where we are making a difference. Of course, we are delighted to be in Dublin. Okay. So we <laughs> delivered, we delivered uh, one of these terminal racks to Dublin. Okay. We have actually now enabled the connectivity between Dublin and Belfast, okay. and then through Belf Belfast to the rest UK uh, UK platform and okay. the opportunity is enormous. So e each of the research departments that are, are connected to Joiner, do they each have a specific area of focus or are they selecting that themselves or maybe, you know, multiple uh, locations doing the same thing or how, how are you dividing it? Okay. Both. So uh, we try to connect labs that they have strong complementarities for instance, some labs, they develop free space optics or Li-Fi, like Oxford and Cambridge. Okay. And then we have labs that they're looking specifically on terahertz. For example, if you think those are technologies that they're coming uh, future into the, our future networks, we have labs like Southampton that they're looking at optical fibers and photonics. Yeah. And then we are having places like Belfast that they're working with the next generation of, for instance, cell-free communications. And, new massive MIMO kind of architectures. So the whole, and then we have things like, for instance, sensing and networks that seems to be across quite a lot of partners. We have 
a number of partners that they are working for AI on networks. So we have that complementarity. We bring quite a lot of diversity, but at the same time, it's good to bring commonalities in terms of thinking. Sure. And uh, just to say that Joiner is not only for uh, joining research labs and academic partners. We are actually landing in places in the UK where there are very strong innovation ecosystems and we are already start engaging the SMEs. Okay. We are ready, we already start engaging, uh, for instance, other smart initiatives like our smart city at Bristol, you know, Open Ireland here, uh, smart city initiatives in Glasgow. So it's becoming richer with the time where we are bringing regions and innovators and academics together at a national scale. Okay. And what does uh, Trinity College uh, bring to join others uh, that maybe wasn't there before? Oh, enormous amount of things. Uh, I personally have been working with Connect for a number of years. Okay. And the team here in, uh, in Dublin as well. So they have a lot of expertise on optical comms. Okay. Uh, which, of course, we have quite a lot of interest. Uh, through that, uh, they have strong expertise on wireless from a system perspective as well. So that convergence and integration across wireless and optical, which we don't see everywhere. Okay. It's another lab like my lab that we are doing, you know, research across the technology domains, but with the purpose on looking at convergence uh, issues and solutions. Also, Trinity is very much like my own lab again, that they like very much to produce prototypes and bring them out into the wild for prototype testing in things like smart docklands or other experimental infrastructure that they have here. So there is quite a lot, a lot of likely mindness across the teams and across, and, and, and Trinity College is going to bring that Okay. energy and thinking and expertise uh, is also the industrial and innovation ecosystem here in Dublin that is very interesting and very complementary with the innovation ecosystem in the UK. Okay, so a lot of uh, exciting conversations and collaboration yes. Yes. upcoming. Yes. But ultimately the, the work being done uh, with Joiner and um, and the the universities and the the SMEs are joining. What does that actually bring to the broader ecosystem? What is the the hope here? Is it to deliver these prototypes and 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 see if the industry can then take that further to commercialization? Yes. So that is definitely one of the targets. Uh, if you are an SME developing in the telco space, as you know, it's very difficult to say, this is my prototype, can I bring it into an operator's <laughs> network? Yeah. The answer is very difficult, <laughs> yes. no. Um, so there is very little that an SME can do on bringing prototypes, and I'm not talking about hardware only. We are working with SMEs, for instance, that they are developing a ZDK AI for networks. Okay, yeah. Where can they deploy it and test it at scale? So, providing a, a space for SMEs, but also university researchers, that they can bring prototypes and test them in real network conditions, and probably test them across as well, you know, an ecosystem of other SMEs and industry. Yeah. That is one of the targets. We believe that with this, we are providing quite a significant innovation service. And, uh, and actually, we can provide SMEs with evidence that they need to, you know, build a strong commercialization case, for instance, for VC investment. Okay, yes. Uh, when we are looking at academic research, the same path could actually lead to quite a lot of evidence for filing IP or even making contribution to standards. Okay. But for me, the most exciting thing about Joiner is that it's there to actually develop that system thinking and answer challenges that their system level challenges. For example, um, energy consumption across the system. And you know, this is a huge problem. And nobody knows because actually industry do not give their data where actually most of the energy is co can co can be consumed and how. Right. Especially when you're 
running specific services, where actually is the balance of energy consumption now in the communication side, you know, the, the wireless interface, at the cloud side, how we can actually start getting these insights. Okay. The other thing around security, anomaly detection at, uh, at the system level. So that is an important one as well. Um, another thing, and we, we, we launched the facility around this, around Spectrum. So around Joiner, we have launched what we call the, spec the National Spectrum Facility. So in each of our terminals, we also incorporate Spectrum monitoring sensors. So we measure Spencer, sp Spectrum and how it's being consumed. Okay. With the, with the vision to create these data sets that we can provide out to industry, to academics, and to regulators. And may I mention AI? <laughs> what, what's that? No one's what's talked that? about that this uh, week, yeah. But the thing is quite a, of the work and optimization that we are looking um, on using AI in networks is very local. People, they are talking about system level AI and they're thinking about open run. But actually the challenge is if I have a full system and I try to make sense and move from my local optimization to a service optimization end to end, how this optimization is going to look like. Because yes. we already see that there is a lot of tension across optimizing locally to optimizing globally. And Joiner is a place that we can address this and many other questions. Okay. So how I can take something from here, I'm doing something with my prototype, and then how this works at the system level. And we don't have many spaces around the world that we can do exactly this. Okay. Well, it sounds like uh, amazing work that's just happening in Joiner as well as of all the other developments you're involved with, Demetra. So fascinating to, to hear what Joiner is doing. Great to hear that uh, Trinity College ha has joined the network and I uh, hope to catch up in, uh, in 2026, find out how that's evolving and what the next thing will be that you will add to your very long <laughs> list of things because I don't know how you do all of these things. I think uh, this in... is my favorite one. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, there we go, top, <laughs> top of the part. Top of the list. Yeah. Okay, Demetra, great to see you again. Thanks Thank so much you. for joining us. Thank you.